Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, I remember when I started this, I was saying, I'm, you know, I'm going to do a segment called We Feel With You, right? Meaning we, we feel with certain things that go with, with boxers that were, you know, injustices. And I just left that because it would have been, that would have been the only, because I ended up talking only about injustices in boxing. I thought it was just a few. <laughs> but it's always injustices in boxing, so I just left the we feel with you. We feel with you, right? Because we do, right? Uh, I'm just going to take this couple of minutes here to, to just give props to some people that I don't want to forget. First of all, it's Jeff Horn. Yeah, Jeff Horn. Former WBO champion at 147 pounds. Jeff Horn. Right? Um, let's just talk about it for a second. I mean, not long, just, just so we can remember. Jeff Horn is the guy who beat Manny Pacquiao. And people were outraged saying he didn't beat Manny Pacquiao. People were talking about round nine. Matter of fact, people even gave Pacquiao a 10-8 round in round nine because Pacquiao dominated round nine. Right? But uh, a 10-8 round means the guy went down. And if a guy does not go down, then he's supposed to get a 10-9 round. We're rewarding the fact that he stood up on his feet and took that beating standing on his feet and didn't take a knee or go down. We're supposed to reward that. So we were supposed to make sure that was a 10-9 round. We gave Pacquiao 10-8 and we complained even though Pacquiao was beating that fight. And so they complained so much that they looked at it again. And they gave it to your boy again, Jeff Horn. He beat Manny Pacquiao. So, he was undefeated before Manny Pacquiao, beat Manny Pacquiao, right, as an undefeated champion. Do you know who he fought after that? He fought Terrence Bud Crawford. That's who he fought. Do you guys know who he was planning on fighting after Terrence Crawford? Who he was calling out? This is Jeff Horn now. He was calling out Errol Spence. That's who he wanted to fight. It didn't work out for him, did it? No, it didn't. Because first of all, you got to get past Terrence Bud Crawford, the very best boxer that the boxing has to offer right now, right? I know it's a few up and comers. I'm not, you know, whatever. But the very best boxer in the last seven years got to be Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Five. We'll give him five years. You know, got to be Terrence Crawford, or he's right there. You know, Canelo was never more than, better than him, and Golovkin either. You know, they just. Uh, the only one that, I, you know, one sentence with Terrence Crawford is Usyk. Alexander Usyk, because that's also something. As a matter of fact, Alexander Usyk should be in this video, but he ain't got to because Alexander Usyk is getting his props right now, and he should, right? But Jeff Horn was undefeated and took on the challenge of Terrence Crawford and while the Terrence Crawford fight was leading up, wanting to fight Errol Spence. That has to be commended. What happened after 147 pounds, after he was beat by Terrence Crawford, hey, you know, then it didn't work out because Terrence Crawford is that awesome. But the thing is, I like to reward or at least acknowledge the runs these fighters have. You don't have to be the very best to get my attention, right? It's also what you're trying to do, what you do, because you're not holding up good fights. You're not in the way, pricing yourself out, trying not to fight them, saying that you're on the wrong side of the street, all those other things that we always are talking about through the internet. Or if you go in and look at videos, the people are talking about stuff. If we, we're supposed to stop talking about that because we're giving the boxers excuses. Right? I don't, side of the street, I don't even want to hear that because I already know that's BS, right? So I, ain't, I don't even care. Once I see a, somebody's channel talking about that, then I'm, that's it. Fast forward, I'm going to somebody else. Got tired for it because it's not the truth. So, at the end of the day, that's what Jeff Horn was trying to do. I can talk about Jeff Horn a little bit for longer. I'm going to move to another one. All hail Julius and Dungo. Yeah, it was Julius and Dungo. Right? You know, who, who the hell is Julius and Dungo? Whatever, right? Well, Julius and Dungo, former uh, two-belt champion at 140 pounds. Right? How do you get those belts? Because he's come from Africa, right? Forget what's, what uh, country in Africa right now. But he's a policeman, which means he can't train all day like most of them, because he's a policeman as well. But he makes 140, 140 pounds, goes to Russia to beat an undefeated Troyanowski. And I'm going to tell you, I know a lot of people try to act like that ain't nothing. Well, so what? He beat a, so, Troyanowski. First of all, he beat him in his backyard in Russia. Second, Troyanowski was being heralded as someone that Terrence Crawford was scared of. 
right? That's what was going on because he's Eastern European. You know how Americans like to say Eastern Europeans and some brothers scared of him. That was going on with Troy Anowski. Your boy went over there, Julius and Dungle, knocked him out, I think, around one or round two. Straight left hand. Bam! Troy Anowski out. Got the title. Do you know he didn't rest on his laurels? Do you know what he did? He went to Scotland, right, a la Alexander Uzik, and went and beat Ricky Burns in Scotland. I think a unanimous decision, right? Beat the hell out of Ricky Burns. He got two belts. Now, right here is where it even gets even better. How do you get two belts? Now, your favorite fighter, probably not mine, because I don't have those kind of favorite fighters, but most of these people's favorite fighters, you get two belts, you're going to start getting an attitude problem. You're going gonna, gonna, gonna to start trying to uh, finagle with the negotiations and, and try to pull, your, pull these cards and not fight this guy and not fight that guy. And I ain't going over here. You got to come here. All that stuff. You know what Julius Ndungo did? Julius Ndungo said, I'm going to fight Terrence Crawford first, which is enough for those other two belts at 140 pounds. That's already enough. But not he put the icing on top and really did some Alexander Uzik stuff. I'm going to Nebraska, where he lives, to do it. To fight Terrence Crawford. He should have told Terrence Crawford, bring your little skinny butt over to Africa somewhere. I ain't going over there. No. None of this diva stuff. Went over there to try to become undisputed against Terrence Crawford. Now, just like uh, Jeff Horn, it didn't work out for him because he's messing with the best boxer on the planet. Right? You know what? This is the first time I realized that Jeff Horn and Julius Ndungo have a Terrence Crawford issue. It never dawned on me to just now. But it, yeah, okay, Terrence Crawford happened to be the dude where it stops there. The buck stops there. But damn it, the buck can stop at Terrence Crawford. If the buck gonna stop somewhere, let it be at Bud. You see what I'm saying? Because Bud is awesome. Let's get, let's get that straight. People have him as a favorite against Errol Spence. How the hell are you going to be a favorite against Errol Spence in this your third weight division? But Crawford is ridiculous. But that happened to Julius and Dunkel. So what I'm just trying to make this video for is to show you that there were fighters that did things exceptional. They just didn't make it and beat Terrence Crawford or whatever. But Terrence Crawford wouldn't be undisputed if someone else would have went and beat Troy Anowski and Ricky Burns. If it wasn't Julius and Dungle, no one else would have came to fight Terrence Crawford. Jeff Horn beat Manny Pacquiao. He did not have to come back and say, I'm going to fight Terrence Crawford there. I could have fought someone else. I could have made someone come, come go to, you know, Australia, and it could have been anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? When those people do those things like that, let's just make sure we remember those. So we're going to remember Jeff Horn. And we're going to remember Julius Ndungo. Now, I know only five people going to watch this, but those five people going to remember these guys. And that's better than none, damn it. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.